It's just me, only yes, only, only you, you and me. me. <laughs> Fantastic, Letty. Will be one on one session. No, Louis is here right now. Also, <laughs> lucky you. <laughs> Hi, Louis. How are you? How are you, Louis? Hi, teacher. And you? Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty Hi, good. Louis. How are you? Here in, in around my house is rain. Yeah, my one here okay. is also raining. That's why uh, it's only <laughs> Louis and me. Exactly. Yeah. No, Everson is coming also. Yeah. We're waiting for it, the rest of the team. So, so down. Yeah. Yeah, that could be right now on my house it's raining, but not like a storm, right? Just like a constant raining, right? But I don't know you guys about your side if it's raining yeah. really hard or no. Is it hard, the rain, or no yet? Is it hard where you live, Luis? The rain? In this moment, uh -huh. begin. Oh, begin. it starts. It starts, uh -huh. okay. It start. it ah, start, okay. Uh, the rain. It starts raining, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. but, my, yeah. But when the rain and Asota very well, yeah. the, our, the, the connection, the internet is down. The, yeah, yeah, the internet connection gets low and down, yeah. Uh, exactly, I understand, but don't mm -hmm. worry, I, I'm, at least like, you're here, so I'm so happy about yes. it. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I also have Leti and I have Mr. Emerson Andrade. Emerson. Emerson. Yes, Emerson, how are you, sir? How are you, Emerson? Hi, good evening. Good evening, it's been a pleasure to have you here. Is it raining where you live right now? Yes. Uh, hard or it just uh, starts raining right now? Um, it starts raining. Oh, also, also here and also where Louis lives. All righty, guys. Did you do your homework by the way? By the way, yeah, Louis. What? What teacher? I what teacher? Did you do your homework, Louis? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. I okay, did. that's cool. Excellent. Yes. Yes. That's, I, that's yeah, I have you a did. question. Do you have yes, a, a WhatsApp group or something? Actually, yeah. yes. Uh, we do uh, have also a WhatsApp group, all of us. But I, I am not in, in this oh, group. Oh, yeah. You, what you had to do, for example, do you remember the link that they sent it to you through the, your uh, email? Mm -hmm. where they provide you all details information about the course mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay it, this should be like a whatsapp link right above where you can check the list of the youtube channel mm -hmm. let me see if i can show it to you how it looks like so you're able to see that bear with me for a couple of minutes already okay let me share right now my screen really quickly Mm -hmm. Allow me just a couple of minutes. Like this, Letty. Can you see that? Give me one second. Uh, Alrighty. Okay. Okay. You see all the details, and information. It's supposed to be here, like WhatsApp group, and there's a link there. Can you see it? Um, let me check. Um, it should be exactly the same that I have. Mama. Oh yeah. Okay, so you click on that yeah, and it will it. automatically guide you to the to the WhatsApp and it will ask you, would you like to join this group? You just okay. click join it yeah. and you're in. I link right now. Okay. Can you check something? Please? Of course. Absolutely. I'll be more than glad to. Bear with me for a couple of minutes. Let me text right now really quickly. There you go. I say hi. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hi, I am. Hi, you, you see. You, you just double checking <laughs> if the teacher got you correctly, right? Of course I did. <laughs> Thank you. Your model, welcome. Okay, guys, let's just start right now. I just want to double check because we have a lot of material to cover. Okay. So in the meantime, we will wait uh, well for the other guys to join the, today's class, but I want to start with you right now. 
Um, so Luis, do me a favor. Let's focus on what we have seen yesterday. Remember that we have seen so far um, comparisons and evaluations, right? With nouns and adjectives. Is that correct? All righty. Luis, could you please be, so let's double check right now the homework, okay? Um, let me check here really quickly. There you go. Bear with me for a couple of minutes. Let me try to open it really quickly here. All righty. Okay, Luis, I remember that um, the homework was to transform, right? The eight, well, the seven sentences into evaluation. Is that correct? I cannot hear you, Luis. Luis, I cannot hear you. Hello, Luis? Luis, can you hear me? Emerson, can you hear me? Letty? Yes, teacher. Yes? Adela, can you hear me? Do. Yeah? Okay, Luis, okay, I thought I lost you, Luis. Woo. Okay. Okay, Luis, let's double check the homework, okay? Let me start with you. Okay. Um, do you okay. remember the homework was okay. the, the, I, I, the seven sentences were uh, basically in regular way. And what you got to do is to transform into evaluation using or two or enough, right? Yes, I remember. Okay, cool. I will give it to you the sentence in the regular way uh -huh. and I want you to provide okay. it to me yeah. the I correct way to well. say it, all right? Okay, so Luis, the second sentence okay. was, it's not bright enough. And you got in parentheses too. How you transform that? Okay, I. Mm hmm. Right, right, right. Okay. Yes, uh, I can read the, 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 the sentence in my. It's about the comparison between the house and apartment. Uh, mm hmm. Apartment don't have as enough what happened with uh louis okay hi louis something happens right now with your internet right yeah you have a problem with the yeah. internet winter internet the okay first louis do me in Do here, me it's uh -huh. rainy. Yes, that could it's be the rainy. reason why. Okay, uh, uh, I, Louis. Mm -hmm. I, I read the, the sentence. Yes, I, first of all, Louis, I want you, I want you to read me the sentence. First, Lu don't listen to me. It. Yes, first of all, just ra uh, read for me the sentence as okay. evaluation. Another, okay. Apartment isn't as expensive enough as house. Mm, let me check. No, no, no. We were, we were, um, Luis, double checking the Apartment. sentence number two. It's uh -huh. not bright yes. enough. And you got in parentheses two. How you transform the same sentence using two. I think we have a, a bad connection right now with Luis. Let let leave him and let me ask Letty. Letty, did you do your homework? Hi, Letty. Did you do your homework, Letty? No, I'm sorry. I I I am. Um, I wasn't in the class yesterday. Mm, okay, okay. I'm going to send. Sorry. It. I will send it to you. But oh, also please double check the video. The video of yesterday's class, so you will be able to see what we have talking about. We have been talking about comparisons and evaluations using now and additives. Okay, alrighty, uh, Melvin, how are you?
Hi, Melvin. Hi. Hi. Good, I'm so happy to evening. see you. Good evening. All righty. We were double checking about our homework. Okay. Okay. All righty. Uh, I was double checking no sentence number two with Luis, but uh, something happens with his internet connection. Hopefully, he can enjoy back the group. So, do you remember that? Uh, let's practice right now. Let me ask you the question, and you. I want you to let me know um, how you did it. Okay. 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 The sentence number three. It says it has only one bedroom, and you got into parentheses. Not enough. Is that correct? Co correct. Okay. How you say that? How you transform it? Using that. Wait a moment, please. Yes. Take your time. No rush. Three. It has only one bathroom. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Let me check, please. Yes, take your time, no rush. Not enough. Mm -hmm. I I write I write I write this uh, this apartment. Okay. I wrote this uh, this apartment aren't big enough for my family. Mm hmm. That was regarding sentence number five, right? Mm hmm. Not enough. Uh huh. Remember that there were like eight sentences, and the sentences you had to transform it using two or using enough. Okay. There aren't enough bath bathrooms. Very good. There aren't enough bathrooms. Can you also set number four for me? We have the transform. Yes. J J okay. It's not convenient to. Mm -hmm. It's not convenient enough. Mm -hmm. No sé si sería como una combinación de ambas en este caso. Mm -hmm. There aren't enough to. No, you can you use or enough or two. You cannot use both. Okay, okay. Take a look at the example here. Okay, we got two, right? Yes. And we have the adjective, right? Okay, it's so not... take a look at here, number four. Which is the adjective here in sentence number four? It's not convenient enough. Which one is the adjective? Let adjective. me share right. Yes, let me right. share right now my screen. Right. Can you see my screen, guys? Yes. yes. Okay. Cool. For me, it is not too convenient. To choose. Exactly, Luis. It's not it's too not convenient. Too convenient. Re yes. Remember, guys. I want you to pay attention because I want this to be clear. Remember that the adjective in this case is raise you see convenient all right so we're going to use to instead of enough like an example here melvin you see here at the top what i'm what i'm highlighting yeah yes you yes. see we have two and here we have the adjective so as louis okay. says it's not too convenient, convenient. that's it Okay. okay, very okay. good. Okay, now I'm going to continue to ask you because I want to know if you are clear. Give it to me, number five, please. Number uh, five. Mm -hmm. uh, for, first of all, read it for me, uh, Melvin. Read the sentence like it is. Read it's it. not spacious enough. It's not spacious enough. Okay, cool. You need okay. to use a two, how you transform it. First it's of all, it's not too spacious. It's not too spacious. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Very Thank good. You're welcome. Emerson, what about you? Can I have please number six? Um, number six, it's not enough all. It's not enough. It's not enough all. Very good. Excellent. What, Leti, you want to try? Okay. Okay. Um, okay. There's, um, 
First of all, you need to identify the adjective. Which is the adjective? Okay. What is the adjective, Leti? Here, in the safe. sentence number seven. Safe. Very good. Safe. That means that it's secure, right? So, take a look at here. Let Be with me. Follow my arrow. Take a look mm -hmm. at here. Take a look mm -hmm. at this example. Okay. So, I need to put two. Two goals here. Uh, before the adjective or after the adjective, Leti? Before. Before. Okay. So, if you already identify here the adjective, could you please transform the sentence for me? It isn't too safe. Very good. It isn't too safe. Excellent. Very good job, Letty. And last but not least, Adela. That is your turn, girl. What about sentence number eight? Can you please read it for me like the way it is? Léemelo como está. I cannot hear you, Adela. Only one parking space. Okay, there's only one parking space. Fantastic. There you go. You have not enough here. How you transform this sentence using not enough? Okay, do me a favor. First of all, guys, take a look. Here. In the sentence, there's only one parking space. Am I using adjectives or am I using nouns, guys? Parking nouns. Spaces. Nouns. What is a noun? Parking, parking spaces. Parking spaces, all right? So, okay, if I'm using noun, that means that I'm going to be, uh, be in this part, guys. You see? There is not enough parking space. Exactly. Very good, Luis. There is not enough parking spaces. Excellent. You see? Take a look. Okay. Take a look. Actually, it will be like the, the, the first sample. You see? Okay. Very good. So now it's a little bit clear, guys? Yes. Okay. Cool. So we already transformed the sentences. Now, guys, with the information that you have here in front of me, I want you to compare. Okay, now we're going to practice comparisons. Remember that? Yes? Yes. yes. Now, guys, we're going to be in this part. In this part, the one above, this one. This one is the one we're going to work right now. Okay? There you go. Okay, guys, so now you have to compare the information of the house with the information of the apartment. Who can give a try? Take a look at the information here. The information is here, guys. Bear with me. Here is the information, you see? You see, this is we, the information that we have, okay? This is the house and this is that apartment. And guys, remember what we used to compare, okay? What we used to compare. All right. Take a look at this and take a look at this. Remember, guys, let me check something really quickly. There you go. Okay, remember, with adjectives, it's going to be between us and us. Remember? Okay. And if it's with nouns, depends. Remember that we have count nouns and non-count nouns, right? Okay. okay. So here, rooms, can we count it, yes or no? Yes. Yes, so that's why we use many here. Okay, privacy, can we count it? No. No, that's why we use much here, okay? It's just for you to remember, okay? Okay. Okay, guys, so I will give you a moment. I will give you uh, two minutes. Read the information for each picture, and then we're going to compare, okay? We're going to use as, as, as many, as much, R and S, just us, etc. Okay? Would you yeah. like me to put it a little bit bigger? Yes. Please. Yeah, okay. Bear with me for a couple of minutes. Let me move this really quickly. Is it much better now? Yes, it's okay. Yeah? Yes. Okay, cool. Smaller. Oh, 
out. Victor, welcome, Victor. He combed his hair and he's not wearing a cup. That's amazing. <laughs> All righty. Victor, we're practicing the comparison, right? Comparison for these two information. <laughs> comparison with the information of the house and comparison with the information of the apartment. Okay. Okay, guys. Time is over. Okay. okay. Melvin, sorry, I'm going to, you will be my first victim. Sorry, my first back participant. Okay, this is my try. Uh, okay, comparison, right? Yes, apartment have a just few parking space as houses. Let me check. Parking space as houses. Mm. The, the apartment have one parking space mm -hmm. and house have two car garage okay no, that that would be good excellent okay. um, Emerson would you like to give a try yes I would like it okay cool go ahead sir okay the house is as spacious as the apartment is as spacious as the apartment what do you say that What? Yes, why? Um, because uh -huh. apartment is small, it is smaller than house. Oh, so you said the title isn't, isn't as spacious. That's what you said? No, I said an apart, a house, sorry, mm -hmm. house is, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. isn't. Uh -huh. Isn't, yeah. all right, all sorry, right. Sorry, sorry. That's okay, but very good. Good try. Excellent. Um, Luis, do you want to give a try? Yes. Go ahead, sir. Apartment isn't as expensive for men for per month, sorry, as uh -huh. house. Very good. Excellent. Why? How much does the apartment cost per month, guys? Month is uh, in the house. 900. 900. What about the what? house? The house one hundred, one thousand five hundred. Exactly, fifteen hundred per month. Dollar. Exactly. <laughs> so that's a lot. Mm -hmm. All right. There's another difference. Uh -huh. uh, for example, take a look at the information about downtown, your subway, and very private and quiet. Uh, let me check. Nice. Raphael, would you like to give a try? Raphael. I think Rafael is not there. Yes. Yes. yes? Okay. The houses don't have as much silence as apartment. Silence, or you can use the other. Um, very good, quiet. but quiet. Oh, um, or you can also said privacy, right? Mm. Yes. Okay. Yes. Very good. Okay. You said you can say uh, houses. How the house is. Uh, no, or the apartment, the or the apartment. Near the, the uh -huh. Ex uh, no, the apartment is near the subway. Ah, okay, yes. Mm -hmm. That house, no, the house is quiet. Very good. Hey, guys, what about the bathroom? Can we compare? Okay. Adela. Adela, what about the bathroom? We, you can use this formula, you see? House. This one. How one bathroom as, as apartment. Uh-huh. Yes, you can do that. But remember that bathroom. Guys, bathroom, is it countable or non-countable noun? Countable. 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 Because we can say bathrooms, right? So this will be, Adela, will be this one, right? Like this, this example. So, uh -huh. so you can say, for example, House has just as many bathrooms as the apartment, right? Yes or no, guys? And 
Mm -hmm. Adela, for okay. example, how, how many bathrooms does the uh, modern house has? How many, Adela? Mm, one bathroom. One, exactly. What about yeah. the Similar older apartment? The apartment. Exactly. So? Then the correct answer is, uh, example is house. Mm -hmm. How? Have or apartment? has? Has. 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 Because it's only one. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yes. House mm -hmm. has. Mm, How has? Many rooms uh -huh. as apartment. Very good. Excellent job. Or you can also say the mother house, right? You can put the title. The mother house has as many bathrooms as the older apartment. Okay? You can say that as well but very good job okay. good try excellent adela okay. melvin you said that you have a question or luis no uh, it's clear thank you okay my pleasure all right very good okay guys tell me something did you find uh, uh this a little bit hard was it hard was it hard yes a little yes. bit right mm -hmm. but now you understood is that correct Yes. That's why I want to make this exercise because I want you guys to think. To think, and as long as you have everything in order, what is an adjective, what is a noun, if I use to, goes before the adjective, right? If I use enough, exactly. And if I make a comparison, you can say just as, as. Also, you can just put as, as, and that's okay. Okay? But you need to identify if it's an adjective or if it's a noun and if it's countable or not countable now. You see, everything that we have learned, you see what is important? Because right now, guys, we have put everything together. Have you noticed that? Yes, right? Yes. Yes, we have put everything together. Rafael, Letty, Victor, Emerson, any questions? Any doubts that you might have right now? You better ask or close forever and ever. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Are you okay, guys? Yeah, I'm okay. Thank you. Yeah? Okay, cool. All right, guys. So if this is clear, okay. Let's practice right now, guys, some pronunciation, okay? I want you guys to practice the pronunciation of uh, some um, adjectives that we use normally, okay? So we're going to practice right now the pronunciation, and then I will show, and we were going to talk about one type of, um, we can say, one type of uh, apartment or room that is really interesting, okay? Have you heard about capsule hotels, guys? Capsules. Capsule capsules. hotels. Have you heard about them? No, right? Okay, this is a brand new topic for you. Okay, cool. So, let me just a couple of minutes. Let me share right now my screen with you. First of all, we're going to practice the pronunciation, and then we're going to talk about capsule hotels, okay? Okay. There you go. Can you see it, guys? Yes, right? Okay. I want you guys to pay attention here. This part, guys. This one, all right? This one, okay? We're going to listen, guys, the pronunciation, and also th there is a vowel and how we stress the syllable, right? And sometimes, guys, here you can see that there is a, 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 a scratch on one vowel. That means that sometimes, even though we write it, we do not pronunciate it, okay? Cuando hay una guioncito o una línea en, un, en una vowel, en una vocal, Lo escribimos, pero no lo pronunciamos cuando hablamos, ¿ok? Eso es lo que quiero que, que escuchen, ¿ok? ¿Es that ok, guys? Ok. Ok, cool. Listen carefully, please. And then we're going to practice. Vowel immediately after a stressed syllable is sometimes not pronounced. Average. Different. Separate. Comfortable. Interesting. Vegetable. Okay. Could you notice that? ¿Lo pudieron cachar? Yes. What's the meaning of a stressed syllable? 
stress syllable. That is uh, Rafael or Melvin? Melvin. Melvin, thank you. Melvin, I'm asking you because I cannot see you right now. Okay. 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 Stress, that means then when you put the power of your voice. Okay? Okay. So that's what it means. For example, you can, you can take a look in this one. Let me check. Mm -hmm. Let me put this one. Okay. Do you see this? Oh, little bow, bow. Exactly. That is maybe Three. when you put the, the power of your voice. That means that your power of your voice is here. Okay. In this particular part of the, of the syllable. Okay. And okay. here is the power of your voice. So this one, that means a stress. That is what it means. When you emphasize the part of the word that you emphasize. Always be at the beginning. Not, 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 not. It depends. Okay. It depends. In this case, we're, we're practicing right now the most common adjectives that we use to describe uh, a place. And also the adjectives, guys, that they are hard to pronounce. Okay? Because do you remember that at the beginning of this lesson, we saw a lot of adjectives, positive and negatives? Do you remember that? Yes or no? Yes. 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 But these ones, guys, are really special because we we write them with all the parts of the word, including the vowels, but when we pronounce them, we do not pronounce the one vowel, the one that we can see here, this one, okay? The one that is a scratch, we do okay. not pronounce it. So that's why we emphasize this, okay? Let's practice again, okay? Listen carefully, and then we're going to practice together, okay? Okay. Okay, cool. Okay. Separate. Comf Where? Let's go back. There Vowels. Go. Part A. Listen and practice. The vowel immediately after a stressed syllable is sometimes not pronounced. Mm -hmm. Average. Different. Separate. Comfortable. Interesting. Vegetable. All right. Okay, now let's go into practice one by one. Or pronunciation. Unpronounced vowels. Part A. Listen and practice. The vowel immediately after a stressed syllable is sometimes not pronounced. Average. Repeat, guys. Average. 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 Very good. Different. Repeat, guys. Different. Different. I cannot hear you. Different. 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 Very good. Separate. Again. Separate. 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 Very good. Comfortable. All right. Comfortable. 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 Very good. Comfortable. Excellent. Interesting. All right. Interesting. Very good. And the last one. Vegetable. Vegetable. Very good. Vegetable. Exactly. Excellent job, guys. So you see, we are, we're also practicing right now, guys, the listening skill, which is really, really important for us to practice. Let's continue listening, okay? What we're going to do right now, guys, we're going to listen about the capsule hotels. Okay, let me show you something right now really quickly so you can see what is a capsule hotel. Can you see my screen right now, guys? Yes. Okay, what yes. do you see? Pronunciation, okay. unpronounced vowel. All righty. Thank you, Melvin. All righty. There you go. Okay. So let me scroll down a little bit. Okay. Do you see here? This is a capsule hotel. But bear with me. Let me share right now here in my screen. And I will share with you so you can, so you will be able to see it. Capsule hotels. All righty. Bear with me for a couple of minutes. All right. I'm going to share my screen once again, so I may apologize for that. There you go. Can you see it, guys? Yes. Those are capsule hotels. 
Do you like them? Oh, no. <laughs> no, well, it will. most of them are in Tokyo, yes. And basically they use, for example, you, uh, you finish your job really late and you didn't catch the, the bus. So you need to stay, right? And also return to your house tomorrow. And so there's a place that you can stay. And this was this one called capsule hotels, like the one that you can see here. All right. So what are we going to do right now? I'm going to put on right now, guys, uh, an audio. And I want you to pay attention on how they describe. Actually, it's an interview. Okay. It's an interview, basically. Um, and he's going to describe the capsule hotel. So I want you guys to pay attention because after that, we're going to click on the adjectives that, he, that the person used to describe the Kaksu Hotel, okay? okay? All right, cool. So bear with me for a couple of minutes. Let me pop it up really quickly. Don't fall asleep. <laughs> All righty. Okay. All righty, guys. So take a look. We have crumpet. What does it mean, crumpet, guys? Do you remember? Yes. Rachel. No. Okay. Very good. Expensive. Yeah. I don't. Know. Very good. I'm Convenient. Convenient. All right. Busy. Ocupado. Bright. Illuminado. Dangerous. Dangerous. All right. So listen carefully about uh, what he tell us about the capsule hotel and his experience, and then we're going to discuss that. Okay. There you go. Page 18, exercise 5. Listening. Capsule Hotels. Part A. Listen to Brad describe a capsule hotel. Check the words that best describe it. Welcome to the program, Your Home is My Home. Our guest tonight is Brad Phillips from California. Brad, tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you do? Well, at the moment, I'm working as an English teacher in Tokyo, Japan. Tokyo is an exciting city, but it's also very spread out. It can sometimes take hours to go from one part of the city to another. When I don't feel like going all the way home, I sometimes stay in a capsule hotel. A capsule hotel? Can you explain what that is? Yeah, it's a hotel with lots of small rooms. Actually, they're not really rooms. They're spaces that are two meters by one meter and only a meter high. In other words, they're very cramped. But the hotel is cheap and very convenient. And what's inside each little room, or should I say each space? Well, inside every capsule, there's a bed, a TV. A TV? Really? Yeah, and a reading light, a radio, and an alarm clock. The hotel also has lockers where you can keep your personal belongings. Interesting. So what kind of people stay in a capsule hotel? Well, probably people like me. People who miss the last train home or don't want to go all the way home only to turn around and come back to work again. It gets pretty busy, as you can imagine. Finally, would you recommend a capsule hotel to other people? Sure. The rooms are small, but you get used to sleeping in a small space. I just wouldn't recommend a capsule hotel to people who can't relax in small, cramped spaces. All right, guys. Okay, let's discuss. Do me a favor. What you could notice, what you could remember, a... Uh, this for this exactly um adjectives which one the person used to describe a capsule hotel do you remember guys yes convenient. which one convenient. convenient what else small small rooms small that okay that means cramped cramped, cramped. very good are they cramped. expensive or cheap cheap cheap, cheap. okay Busy. Busy it's busy too. It's busy. Yeah, very good. Excellent. Okay, guys, take a look at the picture and also remember what he described. Besides bed, what else you can find in a in a capsule hotel? TV, clock. Okay. What, you see TV. Radio. TV. 
Radio. Uh, clock. Radio. 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 Clock. What else? Bed. Okay, yes, the bed is there. What else? Mm -hmm. Pillow. Pillow, oh, yeah. What else? No. And it's time ah, to relax. TV. Okay. Tell me, guys, do you lockers, remember? Lockers. 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 Very good. Mm -hmm. Guys, do you remember uh, what is the reason that people use the capsule hotels? Maybe yeah. miss the last train. Maybe miss the last train. Another reason? Maybe you don't want to go home and work. just return. For exactly. Your Very good. Guys, if you tell me something, are you afraid of crowded spaces? ¿Le tienen miedo los lugares estrechos? Not much. Not much? Not at all. Not all? Guys, no, no. Do, tell me something. Rafael, Leti, Vet, uh, Adela, Luis, would you, would you like to, to stay in a capsule hotel one day? Well, I would like to try it. Yes. You would like to try it? Why? In Tokyo, Japan, maybe, uh -huh. but if this capsule hotel is in the San Salvador center <laughs> of city, yeah. I may, I you may not, not, right? Not. Yeah, for example, in Mexico, there are some uh, in the um, bus stations or the train stations. Sometimes there are, there are similar capsule hotels that you can stay there. Mm -hmm. But here in El Salvador, I don't think it's going to be a good idea, right? In, in Japan, mm -hmm. I guess there, yeah. there is capsule hotel because Japan is the is a little city. Uh huh. You know what? The first thing that I saw the capsule hotels are. Do you remember the um, the movie Armageddon? Yes. Yeah. Yes. When, when they uh, I don't know when they uh, got the um, the gift to go into a cruise, a space cruise. Right? Do you, do you remember? And they need to, to fall asleep, right? Mm -hmm. ah, yes. uh, yeah. Do you remember yeah. where they fall asleep? Mm -hmm. It was like a like a like a capsule hotel, right? Uh -huh. yes. They are similar to that. You know yeah. what? They're they're kind of different capsule hotels. A few okay. saw on the pictures, but that depends of uh, what type of capsule hotels, and you would like to pay and you're willing to pay because they cost different. Okay. Some of them, they have also um, a shower. Some oh. of them uh, provides you like a flip-flops, right? Yes. Or Maybe I, Capsule mm -hmm. Hotel is a Amazon model. And not actually, no. no. <laughs> They're really nice. But yeah. depends, okay? It depends yeah, how, how much you want to pay. It goes for the basic things to... A jacuzzi one, maybe. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, in the, the bathroom in capsule hotel, maybe the, everybody sharing the. Uh, the depends. Depends on which capsule hotel you are going to be. Depends. Oh, that ah, depends. They are different. Uh -huh, yeah. They are different. And of course, they are different in price. Okay. 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 All righty, guys. So, yeah. yes, Melvin? Sorry, in El Salvador, we are building capsule houses. <laughs> exactly, but not hotels. Because are too small. <laughs> yeah, Adele is laughing, right? <laughs> Very good. Okay, guys. So we finish right now. Uh, this topic? Yeah, no, this topic. No, ah, no, no. no way. <laughs> yeah, no. we're free. No way, babies. No way. <laughs> and I'm going to give you um basically your homework, okay? okay. Your okay. homework will be this one. And allow me a couple of minutes. I will send it to you through WhatsApp. Can you see it, guys? Yes? Yeah. Yeah. Your home will be writing activity, okay? Because I want you guys to continue putting in practice the comparisons, okay? And the evaluation. Imagine, guys, that you have moved to a new house or a new apartment. That's okay. And you're going to send the information to your friend, okay? So you're going to describe your old house between your old house and your new house okay you can choose a house or you can choose an apartment doesn't matter for me but i want a similar of this can you see it guys okay okay, okay. similar could be one paragraph if you are sending an email to somebody to your friend so i'm going to send it to you okay i will send it to you guys and please i would like you to share it tomorrow okay so yvette today you will have a homework.
<laughs> Why I enjoy it? I'm this group. I'm just kidding. All righty. Okay. So allow me just a couple of minutes right now. Okay. I'm going to send it to you later on. Okay, guys. But I will send it okay. to you. All righty. So today, guys, we have finished about this topic: comparisons and evaluation with adjectives and um, and nouns. And then we're going to start a new topic, actually. Have you ever heard the word wish? Yes? Yes. 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 Okay. How and when do we use wish? Okay. For example, we use that word wish when we would like to express that we would like to change something of our present that we're not happy about. And we would like to be different. For example, Victor, tell, let me ask you a quick question. Do you live with your parents? No. No. I will see my mother. Okay. All righty. Okay. So, Victor said, I'm do not, I don't live with my parents. I miss my mother. Okay. So, he said, I wish I could see my mother. I will show it to you later on how the structure is because, guys, we use wish with past tense, with past tense of the verb to explain something that you would like to change in the present tense. This is really interesting, right? Because mm -hmm. basically this word is out of the rule. Okay. So guys, what I'm going to do, I want you to pay attention to a conversation. All right to listen how you how we use wish okay how we use it i just want you to pay attention to this very quickly all righty this is what i want there you go all right okay guys just pay attention just listen okay and i'm going to share right now my screen with you no, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm going just to let you listen. I'm not going to share my screen right now. Okay. Tell me if you can listen. Size eight. You listened? Yes. Yes, okay, cool. Listen carefully a conversation between two friends and how they use this topic, okay? How they use the phrase, the word wish. Conversation. Making changes. Part A. Listen and practice. So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So, why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could, but where else can I get free room and board? All right, guys. Did you listen to that? Did you listen to that conversation? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Some, one of them is like, uh, is still living with the parents, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, guys. So do me a favor. I'm going to show you right now the structure of this particular um, word because I know that it's really brand new for you. Okay, so bear with me for a couple of minutes and then we're going to discuss. Can you see my screen, guys? Yes? Yes. Okay, cool. Okay, guys, be, uh, do me a favor, pay attention to this. You see, we use wish with past tense, okay? Past tense of the verbs. For what? To refer to present wishes. Let me give you an example, okay? This is an example really quickly. Let me give you an example. Let me change color really quick because I want to change color right now. Okay. What is the, li the real situation? I live with my parents, okay? This is yeah. my real life right now. 
I live with my parents. Let's pretend that Victor said, I live with my parents. But, but he's not happy with that, okay? He wants his real situation in the present to be different, okay? So in this case, we are going to use wish, okay? He said, I wish I didn't live with my parents, okay? His reality is this, but his desire is this. Do you, think, do, you, do you understand me? Yes. Yes? And you see, guys, we follow the formula. We have wish, right? Then we have, what verb do we use? Pa past, present, or future? Past tense. Past tense. Okay, so you see, we have past tense here, right? But in negative way, right? Yes. Okay. To refer what? To the situation, okay? Okay. So, there's another way also. For example, take a look at this second sentence. Let me erase this one so it's going to be really clear okay cool there you go okay you see because he lived with his parents he lives in their house right so he's not happy with that he wish he had his own apartment right do you understand this mm -hmm. okay yes Okay. Yes. Let's take a look at this. There's another sentence. Uh, who can read for me? Yvette, could you please be so kind to read for me this sentence? This one. The one that I'm doing it right now. Can you please read it for me, Yvette? I can. Mm -hmm. I can't. I can't can see, see it very well. Oh, you cannot see it. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, let me one moment. What about now? Is it more clear? Yes. Yeah, much better? No? Who can it's read okay. it? Uh, it's Luis? Okay. Luis? It's okay. It's okay for me. Okay, Luis. Do me a favor. Read it for me, please. I can't move out. I, I can't move out. I can't no. move out. That means, no me puedo mover. I'm in stock. Estoy atrapado. I'm stuck. Okay? Okay, guys. This one is in present, right? But what is the past of can? Because if I use wish, I need to use the past tense of the verb. Could. Could. So, I wish I, I could, could move, out. move out. Entienden? Yes. All righty. Here, guys, this is something really different for you. Because I said, right, Melvin, that wish is, uh, is a word that does not follow the rules. No, no, no sigue las reglas. Guys, do you remember what is the past of verb to be? Yes. Er. Okay, okay. Was. what is it? Was. was what were. else? Was, where. Was and where. Okay. Do you remember that I use was for which pronouns? Para cuál pronoun? I. I. I she. He. he, he, he okay. He, and where? And, and where? They. You. They. You. Exactly. We, Exactly, exactly. But guys, here does not follow that rule. No juega ese rule, okay? okay? Does not follow the rule. Aquí olvídese. When you use wish, you're going to use where, where for all, all the pronouns. Okay. See? Mm -hmm. Usted no va a usar was. You're going to use only where, okay? okay? But guys, this is an exception. Only if you use wish, okay? If you use another type of expression, you follow the rule. Usted sigue el rule, ¿sí? Pero con este caso, no. Take a look. Mire aquí, por ejemplo. Let me check. There you go, this one, yes. Mire acá. Life is difficult. What type of bird, life? Is it singular or plural? Singular. 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 That's why I'm using it. is. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, and it's in present tense. But I'm saying that for me, for my point of view, life is difficult. But I, uh, I want uh, to change my reality. So as I said, I wish it, referring to life, of course, it refers to life, okay? Yeah. yeah. Where <laughs> easier, you see? Yes. I didn't, uh, supposedly, normally, I had to use was, right? instead yes. of where but in this case no 
with where mm. you're going to use it with all the pronouns after which okay only this is an exception okay. and also you can also uh, you can put it where in positive but also you can put it where in negative way for example i wish it weren't so difficult see you're talking about life okay is that clear yes clear. okay yes okay guys so now i'm going to we're going to practice wish okay remember wish past ten of the birth okay and if you're using the bird to be in present you need to put where for all the pronouns don't use was okay so i'm going to show you right now a screen for some information and i want you guys to tell me what you would like to wish in regards to your job, in regards to your room, etc. Okay, so bear with me for a couple of minutes because I need to share with you. Okay, guys, can you see it? Yes. Yes? Okay, this is my wish list. Okay, I have a wish list here. And I want each of you your opinion. For example, let me check. Yvette, tell me. Uh, what do you wish to change in regard to your bedroom? I wish my bedroom were more big. Were more big or were bigger? Were more bigger. Okay, very good, excellent. What about you, um, Luis? What do you I wish in regard to your job? My, okay, I wish, I wish have a new job. I wish had had had. I had wish I had. Okay. I wish I had. Very I good. I wish I had a new job. Very good, Rafael. What about you? What about you, Rafael? I think he's not here. What about you, Melvin? I wish my family. Uh, we're bigger. We're bigger. Okay. In this case, regarding your family, very good. Victor, what about you? Uh, what do you wish about your appearance? I wish. I don't know. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> we're not going to tell anybody. Don't worry. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. I wish. Somebody help me. <laughs> okay, I wish. No, but, okay, but this is regarding your skills, right? <laughs> okay, very good. Emerson or Adela, what about your possessions? I wish mm -hmm. have more possession. Have or I wish I could have. Recuerdas? I wish I could have. More possession. Okay. Materialista esta muchacha. I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. Uh, Yvette, what about you? What about your appearance or your family? Or your skill? Which one you prefer? Uh, can I choose job yes. or, or... You can okay. use. You, yeah, you can choose it from the wish list. I wish I could... I wish I could have... No, I wish I could had uh, mm -hmm. a new I, job. I could have a new job. Very good. Luis, what about you? About a about position. anything. anything yeah, anything. Job. Yes, anything okay. of the list. I wish. I wish I change. I change, my, or I could change. change. I could change my skill and the pronunciation English. Oh, you will, <laughs> definitely, in the English pronunciation. All right. Very good. Emerson, yeah, what about you? I, what about you, Emerson? I wish I learned more English. I wish I learned or I could learn. Remember that it has to be in the past. Yeah, I could learn. I could learn more English. Very good. Excellent. What about you, yes, Victor? I want to try. I want to yes, try. Yes, Victor. Okay. Yes, your turn. Go ahead. <laughs> I want to try. I want to try. Uh, okay. Okay. I wish I could have my family together. All right. Excellent. Excellent job. So you see, guys, it's not complicated, right? 
No. no. When, no. Okay. When when everybody is is watching to you, yeah. Is looking at you. Is looking at you is a little complicated. It's a little bit complicated. Okay, guys, I'm going to send you to another exercise. Okay, you're going to have two writing activities. Okay. Okay. Ay, teacher. Yes. One is regarding an email and the other one is for you to practice wish, okay? I will send it to you some sentences and you need to transform it using wish, okay? okay. And remember the formula, wish, past tense of the verb, okay? Uh, yeah, never forget that. Okay, okay, guys. I, you know what? Oh my goodness, the time passed really fast. We already have 9 a.m. It's amazing. You said yes. Woohoo. No, nah, I'm just kidding. No, so, yeah. For, so, it, for you, it's amazing. So, for. Why? For us, uh, Why you said that for me is amazing? Because you're going to see your, your, your favorite students. Oh my God. You know, I, we have a Genius. jealous student. Genius. Yeah, he's a jealous yeah. student. <laughs> No. Them is jealous. Yes, he's jealous. He's jealous. Yeah. Yes. And he's getting red, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no. All of you are my babies. Doesn't matter if you're the group one or the group two, okay? I don't have preferences. I don't. Yeah. No, no. I love you, all of you. So don't worry, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, you bad teacher. I'm just kidding. All right, guys. So I'm going to send it to you in a moment. The two exercises, the writing exercise, we're going to discuss it tomorrow. Okay. Okay. And also Good tomorrow, more. guys, we're going to improve the reading skill. Tomorrow we're going to focus on reading and reading comprehension. Okay. 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 All righty. Any questions regarding uh, the homework or something or some doubts that you have for today's topic? Everything is clear like water or like horchata? I don't know. Like horchata. Like water. Like horchata, <laughs> all right. The moro horchata or coconut horchata? Which one you prefer? No, no, that. Coco horchata. <laughs> oh, come on, Melvin. <laughs> don't be so mean. I'm just kidding. Okay, guys. Uh, great night. Sweet dreams. And see you tomorrow, okay? See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye.